Wally here with another episode of my Dragon Quest XI playthrough. We just transported through the door of departure as the Heliodor knights were chasing us. And now we're in the middle of nowhere. Let's talk to this dude. I haven't seen you around here before. Oh, well, whatever you're doing, you're going to need supplies, and that's where I come in. Welcome to my Roman Emporium. Of course, in the middle of nowhere, there is some guy willing to sell us stuff. You gotta make a profit in these apocalyptic days. But I feel maybe... We should bring up, what is it, a flaxen thread? What does that do? Fibers of flax spun into strong seed string. That's awesome. I love flax seed. I eat it every day, actually. Really, I do. I put it in my oatmeal, or I actually have it by itself. Uh, I have none. I have a feeling maybe let's just buy five. We do have uh, a pretty penny. I've been doing a lot of random encounter battles just to get money so I can buy the stuff. I know there's going to be more party members in the future, so... Uh, you know, I kind of need the more more money to outfit all of them eventually. So we have some new monsters. These are orange slimes, it looks like. Let's uh, sneak up on them. They definitely have had their fill of she slimes. Oh, I thought I thought they were just uh, slimes that had a lot of vitamin C. Ate ate a lot of oranges, and then their skin turned that color. But so their slimes are blue, and she slimes are orange. We we learned a lot already. Already. But they're still the basic run of the bunch slimes. All right, this is pretty cool. Just, I wonder if we got teleported to a, an island or something. It's just blue oceans all around. We got these birds up top. Uh, no one's sw swooped down yet, but I was prepared for that. Anything up here? Uh, no. Okay. Ooh. Is it a trap? I don't think it's a trap. It's not a trap. These are some beautiful vistas, though. Look at... Whoa! This makes me want to play Breath of the Wild all over again. Or just play more of this game, because this is just... It's stunning. It's striking. Alright. She slime... What is this thing? Is this an enemy? Or is some... Uh, is that a bell for my horse? I always, I always looking for the bell for my horse. Now it's just a sign. Door departure, Hato. Okay, I want to fight this thing. What is this? What are you? Yeah, it doesn't tell me. So I get one of each. That's a Garuda. This is a Bongo Drongo. Your name rhymes. Says singes a group of enemies with a blazing fire. Sure, I haven't done that yet. A group of enemies? Do they all have to be the same type? Dude, that wasn't a group. That was just the bird. I guess no barbecue bird for us. Bongo Drongo. I love that. I love the monster face on its on its drum. Who else wants some? <laughs> no one does, Eric. No one ever wants any. Ooh, shiny. Hey, let me know in the comments if you go out of your way to collect these as well, or if you don't really care about these warmer lines. I know some people will just blaze through. Don't care about the random encounters, you know, just stay on the path. But there's a lot going on right here, so if you're a person like me, you want to check out everything. What is that? Is this a healing? Please tell me it heals. Oh no, it's just a... Bubbling... Oh, that thing's following me. What did I get myself into? Going off the beaten path. I'm so crazy. Alright, here's the game plan. Sneak in, grab this. Avoid the bird. Because I run faster than a flying bird. Alright. More bongo drongos. What does this sign say? Weary traveler, does the road not tire you? It does. Do your bones not ache? They do. Well, do not despair. Let the sauna cure your ills. Sweaty... Sweaty oasis? Or steamy? Sweaty oasis. Where is that? Can I just jump in here? Lies. Lies, I tell you. All lies. Where am I supposed to be going? Hotto... Uh, hmm. Sure. 
New village. Hello, deer. Pet you? Nothing? All right. I wonder if I can call my horse all the way out here. I guess we'll figure that out. Loading, loading, loading. Civilization at last. And I think it's safe to say we're not being followed anymore. For now, at least. <laughs> Two travelers come. Their timing is auspicious as the day's new dawn. My bathhouse awaits. Savor its steamy embrace as frogs do spring rain. You talk really weird. Rejoice, honored guests, before to mark this happy day, you may sweat for free. Um, we're kind of busy to be sweating. Thanks. Appreciate the offer, though. You tell him, Eric. Too busy to bathe? Too busy to wash away the scent of the road? Huh? <laughs> Okay, maybe I'm not at my freshest. Fine, I'll visit your bathhouse if it means that much to you. Might as well go sweat off the journey while we have the chance. I'll see you in there, okay? The winds bring a guest. Joyfully, I shall guide him to where bliss awaits. <laughs> Okay, Eric is going where Bliss awaits. That's weird. Beneath Mount Huji. Hello, uh, naked minotaur man in every single village. Like snowstorms on summer days, visitors are rare. You blue-haired comrades deep in the stir top sauna, a peak in the mist. Uh, hmm. Save point? Save point. You know, I have a feeling that people around here are speaking in haikus. Child gone, mother's fear, panic like ice, then relief, the guard has found him. But I have not counted the syllables. And so, you know, there's different forms of uh, haiku, but it does seem like they're speaking very differently around here. What is this? Bed, I have a lock. I don't know what that lock is about. Did I save money here? No one knows. Uh, customer, welcome to Rainbows and Bank. Aha! Sure. Current. I have to say 1,000 at least? Just in case I die, I guess. No, no. Let's just check around the town. See what's, what do we got going on. So that's a bank that takes my money. I hope they give it back. That's the first bank I've seen. This. Please tell me. Okay. What do you got here? Just items. Don't need any of that. All right. Let's move on to the next. Steam baths. That's where I'm trying to go to, I guess. Welcome to our home. We have time to visit well. As bears time to rest. Dragon is gone. Sunrise on peaceful dawn for all to enjoy. Man, they must have all got together in order to speak like this. I mean, this is really coordinated speaking. <laughs> How dare you? Ooh. Except for this girl. Ooh. That's no way to treat a lady. Didn't your mother teach you any manners? Your words greet my ears. A good child should be silent and stay out of bars. I told you I need to speak to the owner. It's important. He might know where my little sister is. A child in a bar is like a fish in a tree. You must search elsewhere. 
Oh, fine. If you're going to be a complete pighead about it, I'll go and ask the guards by the gate instead. <laughs> I like this girl's attitude. Hmm? Ooh. What do we have here? Well, are you going to tell me your name or not? Sorry, little girl, I don't I don't speak, but sure, Wally it is. Hmm. Could be worse, I suppose. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Listen, you and I need to talk, but my little sister is missing, so I have to go and find her first. I'm on the case. I can help you. I never thought I'd finally meet you in a place like this. It's funny how things work out. What? You're more than meets the eye, aren't you, little girl? That young these days, children are not welcome there. It is nothing sacred. We will not serve you. Go and sweat in the sauna and leave us here in peace. Yep. I just tried to open up the door in front of you. Okay, what's next? What are you about, old lady? You seek our steam bath, and you must ascend these stairs to the misty peak. Sweet, I can do that. I will walk up countless stairs in this game by the time it's all said and done. Let's see, any uh, recipes? I was told to become random bookshelves. Hey, there it is. Give me a recipe for a new weapon. The tail on Miko and Ryu. They protected the village scourge of the monsters. Foul creatures attacked, and they drove them all back. But there was one beast, the dragon on a mountain they could not suppress. But at last they found success, the dragon was defeated, but there was a cost. Ryu was lost, slain by foul Tatsunaga. Never forget him. So that is a sad tale of the story, and of course there's pots to break, so... It would not be an episode of my playthrough if I wasn't breaking pots. Sweet armor and weapons, getting stronger, better defense. I want to attack harder. What do we got here? I can buy the iron broadsword. Hmm, cast iron, iron claymore might be a dual-handed weapon, but I want to keep shield. Poison moth knife. Ah, I, I, ooh, can sometimes stop enemies in their tracks of paralysis. I mean, that's probably similar to sleep, right? So, if I bought that and the broadsword? Not gonna do it right now, because I, you know, you never want to spend your money, oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Almost accidentally. You never want to spend your money until you see how much everything costs, right? Feathered cap, see, like that, I definitely want to buy two of those, boost their defense. And it looks like I'm about to maybe get uh, a woman on our team. Maybe that little girl is going to be our next party member, but she's just in disguise or something. Two chainmails. Let's just start with here. Equip it. Buy another one. Do it very slowly because I don't want to accidentally buy too much. So now we're down to 900, so we're going to have to come back to buy the swords, the weapons, and the other armor later on, but that's fine. Don't need to have everything all at once. I gotta find Eric. He's been missing for some time. Meet again. Friends in the sauna. Does it sound tempting? Yes. Wally changes to the more appropriate attire for the. Ooh, now you're ready. Sweaty bliss. Uh, this guy really likes talking about his job. Isn't that the way I'm supposed to go? Okay. Oh, all right. I'm guessing it's women's on the right and men's on the left. I did not look <laughs> or ask questions. What do we got here? Anything special hidden? No. Just where they stock all their supplies. I can jack all those Finally. towels. I was wondering where you got to. Come join me. This turned out to be a pretty good idea. We've got the place to ourselves, so we may as well enjoy it. We've earned a little break, wouldn't you say? I agree, Eric. Let's chill as two homies. Can't take it easy for too long, though. Sooner or later, those creeps are going to catch up with us. So, 
You've been scoping out the town, huh? See anything interesting? Ah, her? Yeah, she was sniffing round here, too. She's way too young to be hanging round in bars, though. No wonder they kicked her out. I don't envy her having a kid sister to run around after. They have a habit of causing headaches. Did you just say something? No, I did not, Eric. Where that was not my voice. You? As you know, I don't speak. Where did you go? Uh, huh? I I is that a g g Eric? Come on, dude. Use your brain. Missing sister. It's a little girl's voice. Put two and two together, man. Oh. You scared us there for a second. What are you doing in here? I was waiting in the end. You, you said you were going to take, take him off, but, but you never came back. <laughs> <laughs> Why did you go? Why did you leave me all on my own? <laughs> Sounds like she's lost someone. Wait, this must be the girl whose big sister's looking for her. No, da Eric, come on, man. <laughs> You dry your eyes and tell us your name, kid. Uh, uh, I'm Connie. Nice to meet you, Connie. Why don't you come with us and we'll help you find whoever it is you're looking for? Uh, really? Thank you. Man, Eric is rolling at a snail's pace when it comes to common sense, but <laughs> luckily I'm here. He has his strengths, I have mine. I mean, after all, Wally does not talk, so I will have to get Eric kudos for talking for us. <laughs> but as far as figuring out things, dude's not the sharpest tool in the shed. Half naked minotaur guy. Hmm. Art's a fasting fair face without sampled essential puff puff for a mere 20. What's that? Puff 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 puff. Or art thou not alive with pleasure? Uh, the ritual ended. A word to commemorate your very first taste of the exotic power of the puff puff. I don't, I don't know what that is. Uh, something. Something uh, shady might have just happened there, but we will continue on our way to reunite the sisters. So the first girl said she's going to be talking to guards, right? Like that's what she said. So I guess we'll just go around town. We got to get our clothes back, though. Uh, good sir, I know you love talking about the talking about the. Give me, give me my clothes. Oh, that's how you do it. Give me, give me my clothes, man. Can't keep them. It's like going bowling and they just jack your shoes. All right. Find the girl you saw saw at the bar and hotel. Let's try this door again. Of course, it's open now. Can I talk to you? All right. So he's just saying the same, same junk. She looks happy. She came here alone, fearless as a lion cub, a girl on a quest. She sought her sister. Once vanished like snow in spring, I pray she finds her. Don't worry, miss. We found both of them. Now we're missing the other one, so we're going to jump. No, we're not. We're not going to jump off. 
You know, that's constantly like my downfall. I keep on thinking I could jump over anything in this game, but I apparently can't jump over most things. I'm gonna keep trying though. How do we... All right, let's take this one step at a time. Backtrack down here. A strange girl appears, picks a fight with the barman, and then she is gone. Is she not aware little girls should be silent and s snowfall on silk? Where is she, she at, you asked? She marched toward the town gate. Perhaps she is there. Dude, there she is. Oh, look at this. She's fighting with the burly minotaur guy. Go, girl, go. Well, well, what do you know? Looks like she's picking fights with grown-ups again. <sighs> hmm. I wish they told me they only let complete pigheads live in this stupid town before I bothered coming here. <gasps> oh, it's you. Hey, kid, good news. We found your sister. Why so shy? Aren't you pleased to see your big sis? She's... Huh? I don't know why you're looking so pleased with yourself. That's not my sister. <laughs> I've never seen girl before in my life. That's great. That's a swerve. I don't have any brothers or sisters. I've lost my daddy. I did not see that coming. That's so good. Gosh, where do I start? Did you not think of, I don't know, maybe asking her who she was looking for instead of jumping to idiotic conclusions? Listen, short stuff. I'm not going to let a little brat like you speak to me like that. <sighs> hate to point this out, but you don't have time to be standing there getting your knickers in a twist. You've got a daddy to find. Listen, I want to talk to the owner of that bar, but I can't get in there on my own. Can I come with you? Thanks. I'll never get in there otherwise. You're a lifesaver. I'm Veronica, by the way. Right, let's get going, shall we? I'll look after this little one. Don't worry, you don't have to rely on these two dunderheads anymore. We'll find your daddy in no time. You'll see. Th thank you. Kids these days, huh? No respect for their elders. Well, looks like we don't have much choice. Let's hit the bar. Well, Eric's a pushover. I'm glad Veronica told us her name. Uh, but she didn't have to call us dunderheads. We agreed to take you into a bar, which I don't actually think is the best idea, but I'm pretty sure... Hey, there's another one of the ghost thingies on the ledge. I'm pretty sure this is the only way to complete the quest, but she can be a little bit nicer, you know? Veronica's a little rude. Be nice, Veronica. Be nice. Welcome to our inn. A safe haven in life's storm. Come and make merry. <laughs> Warnings unheeded, the fish returns to the tree. What can deter her? She's with us. Do you have a problem with that? Yes, underage kid in a bar. The fish has a chaperone. She is uh, welcome here. No one's sitting here, are they? Service, if you please. A fearsome young pup. Perhaps tea will soften her. A fine warming brew. That sounds lovely. But I don't have time for tea, I'm afraid. I'm looking for someone. I'll get straight to the point. There's a girl called Serena. Blonde hair, looks a lot like me. Have you seen her? 
Serena. Hmm. Yes, now I recall. The young girl sought her sister, but left without joy. That'll be her. Did she say where she was going? Westward, she wandered. Sensing her sister, she said, guided by voices. Huh? Westward? Oh, the idiot must have gone to help me, and I was already back here! Oh... I was kidnapped, you see. I was in the bathhouse when some monsters attacked me. They took me off to their lair. I managed to escape, so I came back to find Serena, but it looks like now she's gone to try and rescue me. Right, you lot. You're no ordinary travelers. Anyone with eyes can see that. I don't have time to explain all the ins and outs of it right now, but I need you to help me go and find my sister. Are you in? Man, you're a scary little girl, so I don't want to get my shins kicked in, so I'm just going to say yes. I knew you wouldn't let me down. You're scary. Are you leaving? I want to come with you. Oh, you're nobody. Sorry, you're staying put. But don't worry, I think I know where your dad might be. We'll find him for you, so be a good little girl till we get back. You... I do realize you're a little girl too, right? You sure you're gonna be able to keep up? Who do you think you're talking to? Veronica, sage of Arborea and mighty magician, can keep up with riffraff like you any day. I'm more worried about you slowing me down if I'm completely honest. Right. Let's head west, shall we? The monster's lair is a giant underground labyrinth out that way. I'm pretty sure we'll find Serena in there somewhere. The entrance is on the coast. I know exactly who you are, you know. Don't let me down. Jeez. So, Veronica's a magician that knows that I'm a luminary, apparently, but she doesn't come out and just say it. She's very forceful. I'm scared for my life, so, oh my gosh, there she is. Run! Run! Lose her! Oh no! Oh no! Is she a party member, though? No, she's not. Diggity darn. Alright, let's get in this last save for this episode. You know, this was kind of fun. It was a, a good... I guess, side quest, a filler episode, if you will, towards the bigger, grander scheme of things. We got this cool little uh, pup, as everyone called her, called Veronica. She's a mage. We're going to go find her sister. Hopefully, we'll do that in the next episode. We're going to head west. We're going to go into that labyrinth. We're going to fight monsters. We're going to save the day. As always, thank you for watching my Dragon Quest Eleven S playthrough for the Nintendo Switch. Thank you for listening to me ramble, and I'll see you in the next episode.